With Spider-Man being second in strength only to heroes like Thor, The Thing, and The Hulk, it's kind of weird how the villains he faced aren't concussed with the first punch. Hey guys, my name is AJ Spatola with Top 10 Nerd, and these are the top 10 times Spider-Man stopped holding back. At number 10, it was just an accident. In one event, Spider-Man accidentally caused the demise of Agent Charlemagne. She put herself in harm's way, intercepting a blow meant for Wolverine, leading to her tragic demise. This incident incident weighed heavily on Spider-Man's conscience, leaving a lasting impact on him. Despite encounters where he unintentionally caused demises, Charlemagne's loss affected him profoundly, marking the first time he ever felt directly responsible for taking a life. Spider-Man struggled with guilt and remorse, grappling with the weight of his actions, unable to forgive himself for what happened. This experience added a layer of complexity to his journey, highlighting the emotional toll and ethical dilemmas heroes face when confronting the consequences of their actions. At number 9 is his fight against Fire Lord. Fire Lord is a cosmic being who's held his own against some heavy hitters like Thor, the X-Men, and even went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Phoenix Force. But in one instance, he clashed with Spider-Man in Amazing Spider-Man number 270. Spider-Man had a different approach, opting to outsmart rather than overpower. He led Fire Lord on a wild chase through the city, trying unconventional methods to take him out, like luring him into a building set for demolition, or a gas station to explode and exploit his powers. Despite the relentless effort, none of these ploys managed to Take Fire Lord down. The most unexpected strategy of all was simply to, well, punch him a lot. Spider-Man's persistence paid off and through a frenzied attack, he inadvertently triumphed. So much so that the Avengers had to actually step in and intervene, pulling Spider-Man off of Fire Lord's body. If you're enjoying this video so far, please support the channel by pressing like, subscribing to Top 10 Nerd, and ringing that notification bell. At number eight is the Back in Black story, where Spider-Man's shift back to his black costume marks a darker turn. Discovering Kingpin's role in Aunt May's assassination attempt, Peter Parker unleashes his hidden strength. He abandons his usual wit, publicly confronting and absolutely brutalizing Kingpin, revealing the immense power he often restrains against his weaker foes. Spider-Man goes as far as threatening Kingpin's life if he ever endangers the Parkers again, a stance he takes to the extreme in a separate reality explored in the What If series. This narrative showcased Spider-Man's capacity for extreme actions when pushed to his limit, emphasizing the consequences of his unparalleled strength when gone unchecked. Checked. At number seven is the iconic Superior Spidey versus Scorpion. During the Superior Spider-Man comic arc, where Dr. Octopus seizes control of Spider-Man's body and unleashes a devastating punch that cleanly knocks the jaw off of Scorpion. This punch, almost effortless for Peter Parker, shocks Doc Ock, revealing the immense power Spider-Man had concealed this whole time. It's a stark revelation that Spider-Man had been restraining his immense strength all along. It dawns on Dr. Octopus that Peter Parker was holding back in their battles, a realization that astounds him. The notion that Spider-Man and his kindness or self-restraint had refrained from using his full force against adversaries left Doc Ock surprised at the level of power at Peter Parker's disposal. At number six is Morlin. In 2001's The Amazing Spider-Man, a grim brawl unfurred between Spider-Man and the villain Morlin. Unlike his usual foes, Morlin fed on spider essence, making this encounter particularly dangerous for Spidey. But aware of Morlin's weakness to radiation, Spidey weaponized his own tainted spider spider essence against him. Inflicting a potentially lethal dose, Spider-Man hesitated when Morlin begged for mercy, only for the villain's minion to swiftly finish him off. Though Spider-Man didn't deal the final blow here, he purposefully brought Morlin to the edge of demise. Not only did this arc introduce intriguing new powers to Spider-Man, but also showcased a darker, more ruthless side of the hero, revealing a brutal aspect of Spider-Man's character which hinted at a threshold he teeter on, where mercy tangled with the urge for justice. At number 5 is the Grim Grim Hunt. In this saga, the Grim Hunt, Spider faced the Karvanoff family's wrath in their ruthless quest targeting spider-powered heroes. Unlike the typical Spider-Man tales, this story gets intense. You see, when he's pushed to his limit, he unleashes a darker side, and in a shockingly violent act, Spidey uses his unique adhesive abilities to brutally retaliate against a Karvanoff member for eliminating his clone Kane, tearing off the villain's face. Yeah. This narrative marked a departure from Spidey's usual moral code, showcasing a grittier, more aggressive side of our friendly neighborhood of hero, revealing how far he'd go and push beyond his limits. At number four, tossing tanks in trucks. In the heat of battle against Green Goblin, Ultimate Spider-Man did something extraordinary, lifting an 18-wheeler truck and bringing it down on the Green Goblin's face. At just 16, Peter showcased incredible strength, proving that age is no limit to powers. Later, facing the Absorbing Man, Spider 
Spider-Man intercepted a hurled truck, showcasing his swift reflexes and superhuman strength by stopping an entire armored vehicle mid-air. Even when facing tanks and mercenaries, Spidey didn't hold back. In a high-stakes rescue mission, he hoisted a tank above his head and smashed it down. While Spider-Man's usual strength hovers around 20 tons, moments like these reveal his ability to push beyond that, especially when lives are on the line. At number three, benching entire buildings. In Spider-Man Final Chapter, he's holding up the entire Daily Bugle, not for himself, but for everybody else's safety. And that's no easy feat too, especially when the city he's trying to protect starts turning against him. Plus, Aunt May's on a ticking time bomb, and so talk about the pressure. Here's the thing about Spidey, even when the world is on his shoulders, he doesn't buckle. He pushes through, stops that bomb, and keeps the bugle from becoming a pile of rubble. In a separate issue, Dr. Kirk Connors aimed to use a contraption within New York sewers to rid himself of the reptilian transformation. However, unbeknownst to him, a lethal trap awaited beneath Penn Station. As Spider-Man attempted to reason with the lizard, chaos ensued. Consumed by his primal instincts, the lizard brought Penn Station crashing down, burying Spider-Man under its colossal weight. Aware that even the mighty Thor would falter beneath such an overwhelming burden, Peter grappled with the weight, his muscles straining against the impossible load. Yet against all odds, determination surged within him, a testament to his unwavering resolve. He defied the impossible, summoning the strength to lift the collapsed station, liberating himself from the wreckage's grasp. And lastly in this entry is in If This Be My Destiny, Spider-Man faced a monumental challenge, an entire underwater facility collapsing atop of him. Weakened by a prior fight, he struggled immensely, unable to lift the colossal weight off of himself, submerged underwater. Faced with Aunt May's life on the line, Spider-Man almost gave up before remembering how he failed to save his Uncle Ben. Unwilling to let it happen again with Aunt May, Peter resolves to fight on and lifts the giant mechanism to free himself, summoning every ounce of strength to hoist the structure, facing excruciating pain in the process. At number two is Juggernaut. In the showdown titled Nothing Can Stop the Juggernaut, Spider-Man faced a real tough time. It was like an unstoppable force meeting an immovable object. You see, nothing Spidey tried seemed to make a dent in stopping that big tough dude. The Juggernaut's on a mission to nab Madame Webb, thinking that her powers will give him an edge against the X-Men. But Webb gets the heads up and rings Spidey for help. The thing is, it's not smooth sailing. Spider-Man tries all of his moves, but nothing sticks. The Juggernaut is just too strong and relentless. He gets dangerously close to taking Madame Webb out for good, and that's when Spider-Man goes all in. He doesn't hold back anymore. Leading the Juggernaut to a construction zone, he cooks up a plan and then bam, wraps him in wet cement. Goes to show that sometimes it's not about brute strength, but about how smart and persistent you are. And in that moment, Spidey proved that determination and quick thinking can win even the toughest battles. And at number one is his fight against Green Goblin. When Spider-Man faced a devastating loss of Gwen Stacy, he vowed revenge against the Green Goblin. Fueled by emotions, Spidey nearly succumbs to the urge and ends the villain's life, thrashing him around with a barrage of punches. Yet amidst the chaos, he pauses, realizing his core principles. Spidey refuses to compromise his heroism by resorting to unaliving. Despite the intense desire for justice, Spider-Man confronts the Goblin, opting to defeat rather than execute. Unfortunately, Goblin had other plans concerning his glider, and I'm pretty sure we all know the rest. Spider-Man, relying on his heightened senses, narrowly avoids a fatal blow from the villain's glider, ending Green Goblin's reign without compromising his own moral code. As always, if there's a moment where Spider-Man and didn't hold back that you think I've missed here, feel free to let me know down in the comments. This has been AJ Spatola with Top 10 Nerd, and I'll catch you all in another video. Later, nerds!